Hey guys, welcome to question FM388 of the Further Maths Fortify Study Guide. So this question reads, the feasible region for a linear programming problem is shaded in the diagram below. Uh, now in that diagram, this area here is shaded, sort of between the origin A, B, C and D. It says that the equation of the objective function for this problem is of the form O equals mx plus ny, where m is greater than zero and n is greater than zero. Awesome. Uh, the dotted line in the diagram has the same slope as the objective function for this problem. So that's this dotted line just down here. The maximum value of the objective function can be determined by calculating its value at either point A, B, C, or D, or we're unable to determine it from this graph. Now, there may be uh, a few of you who immediately sort of think to yourself, well, since there's no real values are tied to this graph, um, then the answer may be unable to be determined. However, unfortunately, you would be wrong because we've been given the gradient of the objective function. So what we can do is uh, use the sliding line technique, which basically means that if we were to continue this line, uh, well, if we were to continue the gradient of this line upwards, so sort of sliding this line up, the final point we find ourselves passing through as we uh, sort of move through the feasible region will be the maximum. So considering that the gradient of the objective function is slightly less sorry, I should say, well, less in the negative direction, then this line here, as we slide this up, the last point we will move through is this point here, point B, meaning uh, that B will in fact be our the maximum value of the objective function. This is a little bit of a tricky one, guys, without going into sort of in to the depths of how the sliding line technique works. So if you are finding it tricky, please leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll do our best to explain what's going on here. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.